Hi guys! So the next place we gotta do on my list is Dharamshala. So on this trip you're gonna see lots of fun stuff. We're gonna try our hands at cooking, paragliding, thangka painting, wood carving and lots more. There's also gonna be lots of yummy food, shopping. So we have lots to see. Let's start with the section Choling Temple Complex. Follow me. So life in Dharamshala pretty much revolves around this Buddhist temple complex. This is one of the most prominent places here. Everyone who comes to Dharamshala has to visit this. So it houses the museum, the monastery, the shop and the main temple. It also houses the residence of the 14th Dalai Lama. So it is a very important place. So as you enter, you have the Tibet Museum on the right, which I don't think we can film in, sadly. Some shops around, and this is the Martyrs Memorial. This is the way to uh, the main complex and temple. So this is the main temple complex. Uh, the actual temple is upstairs. This is the residence of His Holiness, the 14th Dalai Lama. So this is also known as the Namgyal Monastery, which was actually started in Tibet and it moved here when the Red Chinese invaded Tibet in 1959, which is when the Dalai Lama and thousands of Tibetans and lots of monks fled uh, to places like India, Nepal, Bhutan, and then they kind of re-established the monastery here. is His Holiness, the 14th Dalai Lama. So this center actually houses over 200 monks and they have, um, they do a lot of re research for the welfare of Tibet. They have research and meditation on Buddhism. So you can see they have classrooms here as well. They're not in session today because it's a Sunday, but they're here. And this is the main temple. So this is a temple here, sadly photography is prohibited, so I'm going to go in and tell you guys what's inside. So that was the main temple, you've got um, some idols there with lots of offerings around them. I have been to monasteries before and they have a huge prayer hall, if you've been to one you'd know this. They have a huge prayer hall or meditation space and they have idols with lots of offerings around them which is what this one has as well. So you also have a beautiful view from here. And then you have the prayer wheels, which are again part of every monastery. a giant prayer wheel that you can spin here and ring the bell. So there are prayer wheels all around the temple and you can actually walk all around spinning them. So this is the second temple. Again, you can see a massive prayer hall and then you've got the Buddha at the back. So this was the Tekshin Cholin Temple Complex and our introduction to Dharamshala. We have a lot more coming up for you guys, so see you next time. Bye! So if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't. See you guys!